Hey, I'm Ashan from FTC Team 23849 Droid Force, and I'm a huge fan of CookieBot Center Stage Robot, so I watched their robot videos and I pieced together this CAD. So, this is CookieBot's main telescopic arm. So, it's made up of these three stages that are aluminum tubes. And the first tube is 1.5 by 1.5 inches. The second tube is 1 by 1 inches. And the third tube is 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 inches. And to keep these stages running smoothly, I have these pulley mounts. So this first one is mounted on the first stage. And this is the first part of it. And it, has, it houses this pulley and these two supporting bearings. And if you come over to the side, there's this part over here, and it has these two small bearings to support the side of the second stage. And on the second stage here, we have a similar assembly. So we have these two Y-shaped parts, and they help house this pulley over here. And then on the side, we have a smaller part, and it screws into this Y part. And over here, we have a small supporting bearing as well. On the inside, we have this assembly. There's not currently any pulleys or bearings in here, but I'll still explain to you where they go. So this gray piece over here is a cap that prevents the bearings and pulleys from falling out. And over here, there's four grooves. The, this groove and this groove are for uh, pulleys, and this groove and this groove are for bearings. And what allows these bearings and pulleys to move are some 10mm metal dowel pins, and they slot right into these grooves on the sides. And then when we add the cap back on, it, it stops everything from falling out. On the attached to the third stage here, we have a similar assembly, just a bit smaller. Over here again we have a cap, and then the same two pulleys attached with uh, dowel pins. And the only difference here is that the supporting bearings are attached via um, some some screws. So this, these were the telescoping tubes, and so this is the pivot mechanism that the whole arm is mounted on. So this is the motor that turns the pivot. It has this 8 tooth sprocket that powers this 42 tooth sprocket, so there's a high gear ratio and it allows the motor to turn this heavy arm. And this rocket is completely clamped onto this axle. So the only way for this mechanism to turn the pulley is for these two to have round bores. And what the round bores do is that it allows it, uh, it allows the pulley to spin freely, which means that even when this axle is stationary, we can still power the spool and extend the arm. So over here we have a motor that has a pulley attached to it and with a belt it attaches to this pulley and these this pulley and this gear are screwed on together and then these two gears mesh which allows the spool to turn and since these since these two have round bores instead of hex bores they can spin freely even when this axle is stationary so for the drivetrain, it's just a standard parallel plate drivetrain with a dead axle assembly. And there is just some three-wheel odometry. And this up here in the front is the claw. So this is the claw. It consists of four microservos. These two over here connect to the main arm and they're screwed on to these pulley mounts. And this microservo and this microservo both have these fingers here. And they allow they allow the claw to grab onto the pixels. And what's special about this claw is that it's not built in one piece. 
it's actually built like a sandwich as you can see these three layers here so the bottom layer houses these two um, pulley mounts using these holes here and then we have this middle body layer to just add add a place for the pixels to stay and then on the top plate it has some holes for the pulley mounts that keeps them in place and then once everything is assembled we can add screws through the bottom and and we can tighten the whole claw and make it one solid piece so yeah that was my CAD of the cookie bots robot uh, I hope you found this useful and I hope this will be useful for many FTC teams in the future and if you did find this useful please make sure to give it a like and if you'd like the CAD it's in the description thanks for watching